what's up you guys i'm kyra and i'm Brittany, and welcome to dcf's customs of the week season two episode one female, female edition, edition. got my best kicks precious yeah. like a golden necklace mess with my okay so for today's episode we're gonna be reviewing five female artists and what we're looking for is for presentation line work eye-catching details and overall quality the reason why having a female featured episode on this season is so important to us is because especially in a male dominated industry it's very important to highlight the things that women can do that are often um, underlooked especially Definitely. in a kind of field like this. That is such a good point about it's like a male dominated industry. Totally. It's like you never see what the girls do and like they do such amazing stuff and like they not that you know girls are better but they are a little bit. I think yeah. that we're I think that we're able to do a lot of things that kind of are overlooked by what right. what guys like look at. Right. We pay attention to other things that most guys like overlook totally. Yeah. I know? think detail is a really good thing that girls pay attention to. And color. Well, not that you guys are pretty good about color, but Yeah, but they know. have like a, a different eye for like the palette of colors. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. I think right. they know what to look for in terms of um, how things coordinate together yeah. in terms of colors. Yeah, so with that being said, why do you think it's important that they listen to us and what we have to say? Well, especially in a household full of women, which is where I grew up, I was also um, raised around a lot of artwork, whether that was presented through tattoos or whether that's presented through photography. And I was interested in shoes at an early age, like around 14 in my first years of high school. And after working at Adidas for over a year, it clearly means a lot to me, especially being one of the very few employees that are, like I said, in a yeah. male dominated field. For sure. What about you? Well, actually, when I first met Dylan, um, he actually didn't really know anything about shoes. Fun fact, I'm the one who actually got him into shoes. I was so into like SB Dunks, I was all about it because we're so colorful and like, you know they have like- I like those, so I had those, I had those. Yeah, like yeah. They, I just really liked them. Like they have like cool themes, so I was really into that and that's how I kind of got Dylan into it. Um, and then once when he started with his business and painting his shoes, he obviously had me come along with him and help him. So I actually quit my job. At, I was working at Chipotle. It was like the best job I've ever for food. So I was working at Chipotle and I quit my job there and I started helping Dylan and um, he actually taught me a lot of stuff that I know now about painting and details and you know, you think it's easy just to paint a shoe. It's, it's totally not. Oh my God, it's really hard. It was really difficult, but you know, you learn your way, you learn how to, uh, you know, how much paint you're supposed to use, which brush is better for certain things, and you know, it's it really made me, it taught me a lot, and it taught me, it's really, I have a huge respect for this industry, and it's not easy, not anyone can just pick up a brush and start doing this, so, yeah, I'm really excited to do this episode, it's really exciting, and what do you think, should we get started? Absolutely. Okay. So the first artist that we're going to be talking about today is Kelshmi Amy, whose artwork is so diverse that we really can't even categorize it into a certain style. And she is also the owner of the account Make Monarchs Great Again, which are the infamous Nike dad shoe. And she takes an interesting spin where it's just a refreshing take that you actually might want to wear some things that you wouldn't think twice about putting on your feet. I actually never knew anything about the Monarch's shoe or anything, but just the way that she paints them and she makes them look so cool. Like it looks like something that you'd buy at a store. Like I wouldn't mind wearing these at all. It looks so good. They're super clean, so colorful. And oh my God, the things that she's come up with, just so creative. I really admire that she has a lot of cartoony work as well as both realistic work too, which really shows that she's a risk taker. Yeah. She's not afraid to take ch take on different challenges. And that shows that she's totally af not afraid of starting new trends or putting her work out there as something that might be even controversial or just something new to right. put on the scene. Definitely. I'm really loving the Mona Doodle. It looks so realistic. It's, um, it's the Nike Monarch with a lot of the black um, outlines that outline the entire shoe yeah. with no other details other than outlining the stitching with with paint something of so simple but it looks like it's amazing it just stands out so like that, that's like an eye catch right there like that someone will definitely stop you in the middle of the street and ask you where the hell did you get those shoes from and I like it because obviously the Nike Monarch is a very bland generic almost looking shoe but her ability to highlight those details and make it something really, really interesting is pretty cool. And I think that's a real talent right there to be able to do so. Definitely. I'm just looking at these, what is this, Deadpool? 
It, that doesn't even look like it's hand painted. Yeah, that looks like a like a graphic. Oh my god, that, that looks so. I I wow. Yeah, she's really, really cool. Hats off to her. She's amazing. Very detailed, very realistic. It almost looks like it's like printed on the shoe. It doesn't even look like it's painted on. Like that's not easy to do. And I think that she's also the one who started the Nike gradient uh, the, with the swoosh. Mm -hmm. That yep. looks so sick. It looks amazing. Like Why we think um, that Kelshmi Amy is really important is because obviously it's really cool that a girl artist is able to make a movement out of something so simple, which is really an interesting take on what the industry is about and being able to turn yeah. something totally, totally bland into something, something right. like really, really refreshing. She's definitely leaving her mark on this industry. Yeah. She's definitely someone to remember, that's for sure. Okay, so next on our list is Kendra's Customs. Um, we're just scrolling through Instagram now, and I'm really getting a really girly vibe from her. A lot of water watercolors and pastel. Um, what I like most about her work is that she's able to clash two patterns together. Um, even though that m might seem really busy, it's not overwhelming the way she does it. I really admire most um, her zebra Yeezys along with the red poppy colors of the red poppy flowers and yeah. why that's really cool to me is that she's able to make something super busy and bold put them together and have it still complement each other definitely it's really pretty stuff something you can't find in stores it's it's a custom it looks really great it's good really job. unique and i like her take on it so yeah. good job kendra we'll Yay, see kendra. you the third artist that we'd like to feature is morgan ann seaford who is based out of london and when you scroll through her page you'll notice that she primarily focuses on customizing loafers which may not be the first thing that you think of when you hear customized shoes yeah definitely i mean she really has this elegant and very luxurious feel for all the shoes but there's just one in particular that has crowns on them and the red on there is just so rich. The beading on there looks so realistic. They look beautiful. Definitely something I would totally wear. And I'm not really a huge loafer fan, but I mean, I would totally wear these. Absolutely. Yeah. However, my favorite piece is all the way at the bottom, bottom of her page where she does have a nice clean pair of Nike Air Force Ones. Yeah. Along with very classy, very elegant um, flowers on there and I just really appreciate her juxtaposition of putting something very streets and then very detailed and classy sure. and putting them together and making a totally different vibe out of those. Great job Morgan! Okay so next on our list is Because 42 Kicks. Um, she focused on realism and portraits. Um, looking at her pictures now you just see a lot of side by sides and it looks so real. The detail is phenomenal. My favorite one of her works is where she's got a themed slideshow of her Happy International Women's Day where she has a lot of shoes that feature women's portraits like superheroes. My favorite one, because I'm a Stranger Things fan, is her Converse shoe of 11 and she did get them signed by the actress Millie Bobby Brown. Super cool. And I love her usage of highlights and tones, especially in the skin, skin color. I think that's a really important detail as well as for the hair and there's so much detail in both of those. Yeah, she does a great job, and I think that she's progressed a lot as an artist, as you can see from her Instagram. She's really grown. Um, yeah, she's truly a great artist. She does a lot of um, comparisons from her old work and her yeah. new, and you'll just see her development of her usage of colors and details and the, rich the richness of everything, as well as the quality. For sure. So great job, Mariah. Yep. Last, but definitely not least, we would like to feature Lily Contero, based out of Paraguay and she features a lot of portraiture, landscapes, as well as animals in her work. So she's super versatile in terms of her style. Definitely. I think one of the highlights from her Instagram is that she actually designed a pair of hand custom cleats for Leo Messi. Um, it's actually one of her favorite players. So I think it's really cool that she got to give a pair to him. And they're beautiful. They're, it's a portrait. It's very detailed. Oh my god, the line works amazing. It looks very realistic. My favorite piece personally is what she's got on her highlights, and she's got the progression video in fast motion, is the Leon Guarani, where she's painting a lion with some wings, and the line work is just so sharp and so detailed that it honestly looks like she drew it with a pen. Yeah, it looks really good. I think it's awesome that she's a woman in this industry and she's doing cleats. That's so cool, so different. I'm pretty sure she might be the only one who's doing that. Um, yeah. Yeah, great so job. great job, Lily. Yeah. We see your work from all the way over here. Yeah, hey girl. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for joining Kyra and I in this Customs of the Week female edition. Make sure you guys follow these girls. They're all so different, so unique, and so talented. We also want to mention, please do not forget to leave some suggestions for Dylan and Jason on what kind of themes you guys want to see for the rest of the season. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.